Articles I want to eat an apple for breakfast. I don't have apples. You can have a banana instead. Can you make a glass of banana shake for me? Pour it in the glass gifted by my friends. Would you like to have an omelette also? No, I'm getting late for college. I have a presentation today. That is why you were studying the whole night yesterday. Best of luck. In the dialogues, the boy and the mother have used words that give information about the nouns that follow and make it clear whether something general or specific is being mentioned. The words a, and, and the are examples of articles. Here are some examples of the use of articles. I want to eat an apple for breakfast. You can have a banana instead. Can you make a glass of banana shake for me? Pour it in the glass gifted by my friends. Would you like to have an omelette also? I have a presentation today. That is why you were studying the whole night yesterday. Definition An article precedes a noun in a sentence and tells us something about the noun, that is, whether the noun is something particular or not. Article A is used for something that is singular and not specific. It is used with consonants. Article AN is also used with something that is singular and not specific but can be used only with vowels. Article THE is used with something that is definite and specific. It can be used with both singular and plural. It can be used with both vowels and consonants. Let us look at a few sentences. Sumanth is going to the temple. Gautam is carrying an umbrella because it is raining. Nina has just bought a book for herself. In the first sentence, the is an article and it refers to a particular temple. In the next sentence, an is an article and refers to any single umbrella. In the third sentence, a is an article and refers to a single book which is not specific. Few more examples of the use of a, and, and the are I bought an almira for my clothes. My friend gifted me a mobile phone on my birthday. The house next to mine has a beautiful garden. A, an, and one. Thank goodness our examinations are over at last. What a relief! I hope I shall pass, for I have just got a letter from my father promising to send me to the medical college if I get through class 12. Oh, are you going to be a doctor? Yes, and I am very glad. My father is a doctor, you know, and I have always wanted to be one too. It seems a very interesting profession. What are you going to do? My ambition is to be a lawyer, and when I have got my BA, I am to go to the law college to study for my LLB. Law, that never had any attractions for me. In the dialogues, the friends have used indefinite articles, a or an, with nouns. Here are some examples of sentences with indefinite articles, a and an and one. What a relief! I hope I shall pass. For I have just got a letter from my father promising to send me to the medical college if I get through class 12th. Oh, are you going to be a doctor? My father is a doctor, you know, and I have always wanted to be one too. It seems a very interesting profession. My ambition is to be a lawyer. Definition The words A or an are called articles. They come before nouns. A or an is called the indefinite articles 
because it usually leaves indefinite the person or thing spoken of. The choice between a and an is determined by sound. Usage Article A Before a word beginning with a consonant sound A is used as a boy, a reindeer, a woman, a yard, a horse, a hole, also a university, a union, a European, a EU, a unicorn, a useful article. Because these words, university, union, European, EU, unicorn, useful, begin with a consonant sound. Similarly, we say a one rupee note, such a one, a one eyed man. Because one begins with the consonant sound W. Article AN Before a word beginning with a vowel sound AN is used, as an apple, an enemy, an ink pad, also an air, an honest, an hour. Because the words air, honest, and hour begin with a vowel sound, as the initial consonant H is not pronounced. Article 1 We use one rather than a or an if we want to emphasize that we are talking about only one thing or person rather than two or more. Note Indefinite article is used in its original numerical sense of one in the vague sense of a certain, in the sense of any to single out an individual as the representative of a class, to make a common noun for a proper noun. We use one in the pattern one other or another. In the phrases such as one day, one evening, one spring, etc., to mean a particular but unspecified day, Evening, spring, etc. Let us look at a few sentences. Twelve inches make a foot. A Kishore Kumar is suspected by the police. I'd like one orange and two lemons, please. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. A Daniel come to judgment. In the first sentence, A is used to emphasize foot in its original sense of one. In the second sentence, A is used to show Kishore Kumar as a certain person. In the third sentence, one is used to emphasize that we are talking about only one orange. In the fourth sentence, an is used with a vowel sound. In the last sentence, A is used to make a common noun of a proper noun. Here are a few more examples of sentences with A, an and one. I need one kilogram of sugar. Could I come over on a Saturday sometime? Global warming is a common topic these days. What he needed was an umbrella. An owner of this type is what everybody dreams to get. Some and zero article with uncountable and plural nouns. My uncle has just sent me a letter from Japan where he is on business with some Japanese. He knows I collect them and often send me stamps. They look rather nice. Are you going to paste them in your album? Yes, here it is. I have got quite a nice collection now. What a lot! French, Italian, Dutch, German, American, you seem to have some from almost every country. Oh, there are a lot. I have not got yet. And some rare ones are very expensive and cost hundreds of money. But what is the use of collecting stamps? Oh, well, it's hobby. And it teaches you some geography and sometimes it brings money. I like something more active. My hobby is collecting terns and wild flowers. In the dialogues, the friends have used some for expressions of quantity and in affirmative contexts. 
we come across certain nouns with zero article or no article. Here are some examples of sentences with some and zero article. My uncle has just sent me a letter from Japan where he is on business with some Japanese. What a lot! French, Italian, Dutch, German, American. You seem to have some from almost every country. And some rare ones are very expensive and cost hundreds of money. And it teaches you some geography and sometimes it brings money. In the first sentence, some is used to talk about unknown numbers and zero article is used with abstract noun business. In the second sentence, zero article is used with the nouns like names of languages and national, French, Italian, Dutch, German, American. In the third sentence, some is used with plural uncountable nouns. In the last sentence, some is used with geography to talk about particular but unspecified subject knowledge. Usage We use some in affirmative sentences and questions with plural and uncountable nouns when we talk about limited but indefinite or unknown numbers or qualities of things. To talk about particular but unspecified people or things before a number to mean approximately when we want to emphasize that we can't say exactly which person or thing we are talking about because we don't know or can't remember. We use some instead of a or an with a singular noun. We use zero article. With uncountable and plural nouns, when we talk generally about people or things, with words like father, mother, uncle, etc., as well as baby, nurse and teacher. With all uncountable nouns denoting non-material things when used as class names. With many words denoting public institutions when their purpose rather than mere building or place is thought of. Let us look at a few sentences. In the days of Ashoka, stone pillars were very common. English language is rich in vocabulary. She has plenty of time but no money. Will you please buy me some butter when you go out? Some eight or nine young men were crowding anxiously round an open window. In the first sentence, the article is omitted with plural nouns when spoken generally about. In the second sentence, the article is omitted with language name. In the third sentence, zero article is used with uncountable nouns denoting non-material things when used as class names. In the fourth sentence, some is used with uncountable noun. In the last sentence, some is used to express the number approximately. The zero article, a, an, and things in general. Congratulations, Vivek. I am glad to know that you have been elected as the president of your school students' council. Thanks, Ravi. The students' community has great expectations of you. You have promises to keep. Yes, I will fulfill them. What is your first target? Our school is quite good and our principal has an open mind. He always welcomes some suggestions for the betterment of the school. My first target is to introduce open shelf system in the library. You know, there is water scarcity. May we go for some bio-friendly toilets? Yes, I will recommend this idea to the head of the school. Moreover, I will discuss with the principal to introduce a period for yogic exercises and some vocational or artistic training. That's a brilliant idea. Wish you good luck for your future endeavors. In the dialogues, the friends have used definite and indefinite articles, some and zero articles with nouns. 
Here are some examples of sentences. I am glad to know that you have been elected as the president of your school students council. The students community has great expectations of you. You have promises to keep. Our school is quite good and our principal has an open mind. He always welcomes some suggestions for the betterment of the school. There is water scarcity. May we go for some bio-friendly toilets? Moreover, I will discuss with the principal to introduce a period for the yogic exercises and some vocational or artistic training. That's a brilliant idea. In the first and second sentences, article the is used to talk about the position and the group in particular. Promises word will have zero article as it is an abstract noun. In the third sentence, the word open-minded takes the indefinite article an as it begins with a vowel sound. Some is used with suggestions as it is a plural uncountable noun. As the word school is repeated, it is mentioned with the definite article the. In the fourth sentence, water denotes a non-material thing, so it takes no article and sum is used to refer the number. In the fifth sentence, to specify the indefinite time article, a is used with period and again sum in the sentence is used to express the unknown numbers. In the last sentence, the indefinite article A is used with the word brilliant as it begins with a consonant sound. Usage A and an are called indefinite articles because they are used when we do not speak of some particular thing or person. Words that begin with a vowel sound take an and that with a consonant sound take a. Omission of a and an, we do not use a before uncountable nouns, plural nouns and before the name of meals and before proper nouns. We use some. In affirmative sentences and questions with plural and uncountable nouns, when we talk about limited but indefinite or unknown numbers or qualities of things. To talk about particular but unspecified people or things before a number to mean approximately. When we want to emphasize that we can't say exactly which person or thing we are talking about because we don't know or can't remember, we use some instead of a or an with a singular noun. We use zero article with uncountable and plural nouns when we talk generally about people or things. With words like father, mother, uncle, etc. as well as baby, nurse and teacher. With all uncountable nouns denoting non-material things then used as class names. With many words denoting public institutions, when their purpose rather than mere building or place is thought of. Here are few examples of sentences with definite and indefinite articles, some and zero article. She has already learned Chinese and Spanish and now she wants to learn the third. Woman is man's mate. I learned French at school. I can't forget the kindness with which he treated me. A pupil should obey his teacher. Sugar is bad for your teeth. The car we were travelling in broke down near the hill. People and Places Students, let us know about Mexico and its features today. We have heard that it's one of the largest countries in the world and a popular place for vacationers from around the world. 
Mexico is the world's largest Spanish speaking country. And did you know that the Great Pyramid of Cholula is the world's largest pyramid? That's interesting to know. We were of the opinion that it is in Egypt. The Mesoamerican people discovered chocolate in Mexico. Ma'am, I knew the name of the national dog. It is the Zolo. Well, we shall learn more about the city tomorrow. In the dialogues, the teacher and the students have used the definite article, the. Here are some examples of sentences with definite article, the. We have heard that it's one of the largest countries in the world and a popular place for vacationers from around the world. Used with superlative degree. The Pyramid of Cholula. Monument. The Mesoamerican people discovered chocolate in Mexico. Used to talk about the group of people. I knew the name of the national dog. It is the Zolo. Used because there is only one. Definition. The is called the definite article because it normally points out some particular person or thing. It is used before singular countable nouns, plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Usage We use the definite article in front of a noun when we believe the hearer or reader knows exactly what we are referring to. Because there is only one, we use the definite article with a superlative adjective. Because there is only one in that place or in those surroundings. With adjectives like rich, poor, elderly, unemployed to talk about groups of people. Countries whose names include words like kingdom, states or republic. Countries which have plural nouns as their names. Geographical features such as mountain ranges, groups of islands, rivers, seas, oceans and canals. Newspapers Well-known buildings or works of art. Organizations Hotels and pubs and restaurants. Families when referring to the group specifically, use the before the name for the people. Note, we do not use the definite article if the name of the hotel or restaurant is the name of the owner. Example, Brown's Brown's Hotel, Morals, Morals Restaurant, etc. Let us look at a few sentences with the definite article the. The Prime Minister launched the Jal Vihar with traditional ceremony because there is one. The Brahmaputra is one of the longest river in India with superlative degree. The Atlantic divides Europe from North America with oceans. For both news and views, the Hindu has no match among Indian newspapers. Newspapers We stayed at the Taj in Mumbai. Hotel The Himalayas have a fascination of their own. With mountains The Mexicans are made up of Native Americans and European immigrants. Group of people Here are a few more examples of sentences with article the. On Monday, an unarmed man stole 10 lakhs from the bank. The thief hasn't been caught yet. I was walking past Benny's Bakery when I decided to go into the bakery to get some bread. This is the only day we have had sunshine all week. Hiking across the Rocky Mountains would be difficult. The French enjoy cheese. The scarecrow and the tin woodman stood up in a corner and kept quiet all night, although of course they could not sleep. The giant